Parents always want the best for their children, but how do you know when you've gone too far? TV shows have taken on and are now exposing these stories, causing controversial views on what over-parenting truly is. We're joined today by a little panel of mental health experts. We have Lynn Schein and Mary Frances Bear, both here for our parenting experts uh, segments to discuss how much is too much when supporting your child through activities like dance or sports. Let's start with you, Mary Fran. What do you think of when you see these shows like Dance Moms or the new one, Friday Night Tykes? Um, they're actually very concerning to me. I, for young children, they I think it's clearly too much for them. You know, at that point in your life, you need to be unconditionally loved by your parents. And I think it's hard for kids to flesh that out if, you know, it's, if, the, pa the support from the parents, is it about them or is it about their competition? And we're, you know, we're bringing this up right now, of course, the winter games are going on in Sochi, so we're, every night we're watching on TV what the results are of working hard in your youth, of getting to that level of competition. How does that play into all of this, Lynn? Working hard is, that's something that's a value that we all as parents want to teach our children to work hard, but sometimes we, focus so much on one thing that it's really hard for a, for a child to be balanced. Mm -hmm. So as a parent, we really want to be able to encourage what they love um, and stand behind them and support them. But sometimes, as we see, it gets a little too much. There's a whole lot of pushing and a whole lot of, um, there's some parents that are wonderfully supportive and there are some that the, the child's sport, they're living vicariously through them or the dance or the gymnastics or any of those things. So it's a balance. And a lot of these things are, of course, team activities. You know, we see all kinds of youth leagues here in Western New York. Mary Fran, you work with a lot of different families through your counseling. Do you find that sometimes the parents are more competitive with each other than they may be pushing their children to be competitive with other children? So parents competing, like, competing mm -hmm. against each other. Yeah, I've definitely seen that. Um, I don't encourage it. I don't think it's a great idea and like Lynn said exactly it's more about them than their kids they're trying to fulfill something that a fulfill a need through their kids and through their child's competitiveness and that's way too much and like we said you know we are talking about the games going on in Sochi seeing people winning medals for things they're good at what if your child just really is that gifted and, and needs to be maybe not pushed but being in a competitive atmosphere to rise to greatness, you know, what if they are gifted? How much is, a, is the right amount of pushing them? I'm okay with providing them with every opportunity you have the ability to provide them with. So if they're gifted and they're, they most of all have a love for that particular thing, by all means encourage it and stand behind them. But I understand that when you, you sign somebody up for a sport or an activity, they have a coach, they have a leader. And what I find the most difficult thing is parents have a tough time stepping back and allowing somebody else to um, coach. You are not the mm -hmm. coach if you're putting them in someone else's hands. So we see some crazy kind of stories sometimes where a um, parent recently jumped over and, and started to intervene because the child was benched. You know, yeah. it's not up to you. You, you can't be a part of that, that's, that's up to, so encouraging, backing, at the end of a game saying, honey, how do you think you did? Mm -hmm. Instead of you giving your feedback, right. which is hard, but that's the way to go. Yeah, mm -hmm. you bring up the coaches or the other parents involved mm -hmm. in the team, how can you talk to your child and explain your role versus the coach's role versus, uh, really, that's the only two things that matter. The other noise shouldn't really matter. It should just be your role with your child and your and the coach's role, mm -hmm. right? I mean, I think the parent's role is always, like Lynn said, to support your child, you know, to be there through the good times and the bad times. You're going to be there for them after the game if it was a really trying time for them. Um, and yeah, like Lynn said, when they're playing, and we've talked about this before, the, it is the coach's job to coach. It's not yours. It's confusing for the child. So I agree that parents during the games really need to step back, let the coach do their job, and observe and support. Any red flags parents should be watching out for when it comes to a relationship between a coach and a, and a child or another parent involved in the team and, a, and their child? Coaches can bully just yeah. like children can bully. Mm -hmm. So there is a fine line between encouraging and bullying. Yeah. So um, encouraging or getting, uh, a coach is allowed to get angry or say, come on, you did not give your eff you know, full effort today. 
great. You don't intervene with that. If they want to bench because of an attitude or they want to, um, you can tell I have a lot of hockey experience. I keep yeah. saying benching. <laughs> but they, they um, you know, want to put them aside or, or do something, that's up to them. But if they're calling your child names or they're attacking or they're swearing at your child, that's, that borders on the bullying. And yes, I believe you should intervene, not in front of the child necessarily, mm -hmm. but yes, you should intervene. It can be hard to do so certainly when you think that their future on the team is in the line, but that's the right thing to do for yes. your family, or the right example to set for your child for sure, right? Mm -hmm. to, to help them be a whole person. A absolutely, I think they should question, I hate to say it, but question authority. You should, when somebody's put in that role of, it's almost like God-like, coach you really need to let your child know they're still a person and they can still make mistakes so you really have to you know let them have perception on what's happening okay Mary Fran and Lynn Shine thanks for coming in today a yeah. uh, big topic Thank you. these days yes yeah. it sure is